are in Campione d'Italia at Lake Lugano and 26 pilots showed up for the Grand Prix of Switzerland, which should have been the fourth round of the 2017 Formula 2 World Championship. But already on Saturday, the free practice session was interrupted by heavy rain and changing wind and water conditions. And the weather didn't really change to the better on race day. The rain did stop, but strong winds caused high waves throughout the entire Sunday. So there was no other option to finally cancel the Grand Prix on late Sunday afternoon. But there was some racing action going on on Saturday afternoon when qualifying session Q1 was started even though the conditions were pretty rough on the 1.5 km 4-pin race course. The surprise of this qualifying round for sure was Sweden's Oskar Samuelsson, who not only came first in his quali group but ended up on first spot overall in the combined results. If it's good for me, but yeah, the conditions, it would have been more fun to win it during the Q3 than during Q1 and having the Q2 and 3 cancelled due to bad weather, so, but it feels great. <laughs> Also, German pilot Stefan Hagen was doing pretty good in these conditions by leading the free practice results and almost getting that top spot again in Q1, only beaten by Samuelsson. It's a good feeling. I had a clean lap uh, when I was going out and have uh, pushed hard to get a good time and uh, it was not enough for the first position, but I am very happy with the second position. Changing back to last year's DAC boat did work out for Italian Alberto Comparato, who was very competitive again and finishing Q1 on third spot. It looked quite different for championship leader Rashid Al Kamsi and his closest title contenders Pierre London and Nelson Moran. For sure, it was only Q1, but still, in these rough conditions, these three were way off pace by ending up with a gap of over a second to Samuelsson. London, at least, was quickest out of the three. With a 50.3 second lap, he came fifth. Points leader Al Kamsi finished sixth, posting a 50.66 second lap, and Morin wouldn't even make it into Q2 with only 52.37 seconds. The French pilot ended up on a 17 spot. And also last year's second in the championship, Eric Idin would have missed Q2 by only two tenths of a second. The Swedish driver finished Q1 on a 16th position. So after the weather conditions made a safe race impossible, UAE pilot Rashid Al Kamsi still leads the 2017 World Championship standings. It is what it is. It's um, it's not safety out there now. It's not safe to race for the moment uh, and do the qualifying. So I think Pelle did the right decision. So the decision will be made at the very final F2 round at the Grand Prix of Portugal. There are still seven pilots who have a theoretical chance to become champion. Still, everything can happen at this last race of the season. Don't miss the F2 finals in Portugal and follow F2 on Facebook, YouTube and F2worldchamp.com. Wow, 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 wow.